So most people ask me about how to lose weight, but how to gain weight is something I don't get asked a lot about. So I wanted to talk about this compound that the FDA is alerting people. It's called apetamin. And it is a compound I've seen at various websites, which we're not even going to talk about. It's apparently also marketed on social media to help people gain weight. Although, incidentally, I will point out that when I went on Instagram, I did find that they they threw up uh, little warnings about epitamin and how it's involved with it's a drug and you shouldn't be using it. Although they still did allow me to see the pages of companies that were apparently selling this product. TikTok, however, took a much much more stringent approach to Epetamin. They wouldn't let you look for it at all. No hashtags, no users, no nothing that mentioned that word. So I'm probably not going to be putting this video on TikTok. So what is Epetamin? It's a compound. Apparently it's, I think, made in India and it contains various amino acids like lysine and some B vitamins, which do nothing. The key ingredient in Epetamin is an antihistamine that was invented in the 1960s called cyproheptadine. Say that three times really fast. So cyproheptadine is an antihistamine and it has been studied to actually help people gain weight who are underweight. Before we go any further, I will point out that Epetamin is not legal in the United States. You're not going to find this on, uh, say, you know, GNC or vitamin shop. You may find it, however, at maybe maybe gas stations and bodegas in your neighborhood, but it's not officially a legal product in the United States or in several other countries. So cyproheptadine, the antihistamine, has been shown in clinical studies to help undernourished people gain weight. For example, in one investigation, cyproheptadine helped people with cystic fibrosis gain almost four pounds over the course of three months. Although conversely, cyproheptadine and epitamine don't appear to help people whose weight weight loss is caused by severe illness like cancer or HIV. So while this stuff may be popular in some circles, I will point out that it does not appear to be safe across the board. Side effects include dry mouth and dizziness, so you shouldn't be driving cars while you're taking this product. Another side effect that pops up with Aptamin is it makes people tired. And I think this may be related to the reduction in metabolism that may be what people are looking for. So Aptamin appears to lower metabolic rate. And one of the ways it does is, I think, is by making people sleepy. If you're sleepy, you're not going to do as much physical activity. And so when you do eat, it does stimulate appetite. Your body weight goes up. So calories in are greater than calories out. The cyproheptadine antihistamine also appears to work by stimulating Ig. IGF-1 levels, insulin growth factor 1 levels. IGF is related to growth hormone, which as you may be aware of, makes things grow. So this may be another way in which abdomen appears to help people gain weight. Now one side effect that I think that many people may not be aware of is that potential for abdomen and that antihistamine to cause liver problems. In one report, a 40-year-old woman was checked into the hospital with liver problems after using the abdomen product for six weeks. Now, I will point out that she admitted that she was not taking the recommended amount of abdomen, which is about five milliliters. Rather, she was basically taking swigs of it out of the bottle, and so she took much more than she should have been taking. But even so, it took several months for her liver enzymes to go back down into the normal range. As I said before, Aptamin is not approved for use in the United States. However, when I looked into this, I did find bogus products being sold online that had the name that sounded like Aptamin, but when I looked at their ingredients, they did not contain the antihistamine ingredient. What that means is they're probably not going to work like Aptamin, but on the plus side, they're probably not going to have the nasty side effects of potentially liver problems as Aptamin may have in some individuals. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Don't let some dumb social media media influencer or celebrity or anybody make you think you're not good enough unless you look a certain way. You're better than that. Embrace your diversity. I hope this quick video helped and until next time, take care out there.